Hello everyone! Today I want to create a, a small photo folio using Flight of Fancy Collection by Graphic45. I'm going to use 8x8 pack and 12x12 patterns and solid pack. And maybe I will use sheets from 12 by 12 collection pack. So let's start. At first, I'm going to cut all pieces for my photo folio and I've prepared this table where you can find all sizes and all, all score lines for my, for my project. Okay, I would like to say how I'm making my score lines. For example, I'm taking element 3 and it has two score lines, this one and this one. How I'm making them? I'm taking 9 and 1 quarter inch side, this one. One, oh, nine and one quarter inch side. Then I'm making first score line at six and one quarter from the edge. Six and one quarter. Six and one quarter from the edge. Then I'm making my second score line a distance two and one quarter from the first score line. Two and one quarter. And this part is three quarters. And so I may I'm going to make all score lines on all my pieces. I've prepared all my pieces for my portfolio and now I'm going to make the base. So at first I'm taking one element, one piece number one and piece number two. I'm cutting the corners and I'm going to glue my element 2 on the element 1 this way. Now I'm taking element 3 and gluing it on the element 1 to Okay, 
I need to draw my base. Element three, element one, element two. Now I'm taking element 3.1 and gluing it on the element 3 this way. I'm taking second element number one and I'm going to glue it on the first element number one. If I need I'm going to make if I need it I will make it smaller but it's okay I'll only glue it. Yeah. And now I'm going to attach my pocket form to the page two. At first, I'm gluing this side and then I'm gluing these two sides. And now I'm going to glue my piece five on the pocket four here. And now I'm going to stick my pocket six on flip five. Seven, seven, one, seven, two, and I'm, glue, I'm going to glue them on the page two.
on the bottom of our page. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> these are my four elements, nine, and I'm going to glue them on my page two. At first I'm gluing first element nine on the top. Yeah. Open up my first piece nine and I'm going to glue second piece nine under the first one. Yeah. Okay, my first element nine and second element nine. I grab my third piece nine and go into glue it under the second element nine and then I'm going to glue my first and then I'm going to add fourth element nine under the first the third third one. Okay. Now I need four pieces, eight, and one more, okay, and I'm going to glue them on my pieces nine. How I'm going to do that? I'm making the mark at two inches from the edge on the left edge or right edge and gluing my element eight here this way And I'm making that on all pieces nine. We have pocket ten. Let's attach them to the flap seven here. Okay. I finished with my page two. So go to the page 3.1. Let me grab my piece 11 and, and I'm going to stick it down as a pocket here. Okay, here is 
my piece 12 and I'm going to attach it here. I'm marking two and one eighth inch and going to glue it down. Open it up and I'm taking and I have two pieces 13. I'm going to attach one pocket 14 at the back side of the page 3.1 and I'm going to glue second pocket down to and I'm going to glue second pocket to the page 3 here. Okay, now we have two pockets and uh, here is our one O. Oh. And here is one piece 14. I'm going to glue it here and I need to center it. Okay, let's grab our second piece 14 and attach it to the pocket 13. I need to lean it up with the first piece 14. Okay, and um, I'm going to glue my third piece 14 on my first piece 14 here. So we finished with our folio base. And now we're going to glue scrapbook paper and we'll decorate our album. Now I'm going to add scrapbook paper, photos and uh, photo mats, other elements, elements to my photo folio. So let's start. Okay. I've printed a lot of photo. I've cut some die cut elements and I've prepared a scrapbook paper pieces. At first, I'm going to glue scrapbook paper. I like to cut scrapbook paper pieces smaller than my this room. For example, if my room is um, six and a quarter by um, three and uh, three quarters I've cut 
I'm going to cut scrapbook paper piece is three and a half by six. Here is six and a quarter. I've cut scrapbook paper six inches. And I'm gluing it in the middle of my room. Here. Oh, this uh, this piece is uh, four and three eighths by six inches, and I will glue it here. And this piece is one and three quarters by four and three eighths, and I will glue it here. I've prepared two photo mats for, for this belly band yeah. and four photos. So, my first photo mat is four by five and one quarter inch and the second one is four by five and three quarters inch. And photo for for first are four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Photos for second are three and three quarters by five and a half. I will glue two photos on my one photo mat here and two photos here. I've made my photo mat, so now I'm going to add here, here stickers. Uh, this photo I have took in our trip to Kausok National Park. So it's first day. It's our road here. It's our road there. So I want to add maybe here that's die, this die cut. It's from this collection they cut uh, this one. Mm -hmm. And here we want to add something from this sheet. Maybe beautiful day will be okay. For this pocket, I've prepared this photo mat. It is... Um, I've made it from the black cardstock leftover. And it is uh, 12, 12, 13, 
13 and 3 quarter by 3 and 1 eighth inch. I'm making score lines on the longer side at 4 and 1 eighth, then 8 and then eight and a quarter and uh, maybe to twelve. I think that twelve inches. Okay. And I've printed some photo for this photo mat. I'm going to glue it. Yeah. Okay, this my photo mat is ready. I added a little decoration here on my flap. And for the decoration I used this die set and small brats. Okay. Scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, and um, a little die cuts, and and put my photo mat on pocket. Okay, I prepared another photo mat for this pocket. This one. Here I used photos, scrapbook paper. I've cut a paper stripe from sheets um, 12 by 12 and 8 by 8. I, if I use this sheet. And cut this handle, handle paper clip. <laughs> okay, it's also for this pocket. And using a, and I've used these two dies for make. Slides one slide and another one. Yeah. This is final result. Okay, what I did. At first I've cut scrapbook paper piece used uh, using this die. Then I've cut um, black cardstock paper piece using this die and uh, I've prepared photo and I'm going to use it using this die too this way and my photo will be will have uh, that size size which I need Okay, now I'm going to decorate my pocket. I've got this ticket. Road trip. And I want to add this 
a pastry. And uh, I want to add some border here. Okay, my first page is ready and go ahead. At first I'm going to glue scrapbook paper. This piece is 5 by 8 inches and this piece is Two by eight inches. Then I'm going to prepare my photo mats. I've cut I've cut this one. It's six and a quarter by twelve. 12 and a half, maybe. No, 12 and 3 quarters, yeah. And I've made score lines um, at um, 4 and a quarter. And 4 and a quarter. I'm going to glue this card on front side of my photo mat. Now, of course, I've prepared a photo for this one. So, also, I've prepared this photo, which uh, look like a um, post stamp. I've made it using my this die set. So, I'm going to prepare this stamp and maybe some small stamp. <laughs> okay, I'm starting. Okay. I've finished it with this page. Two photos I decorate as a stamp, stamps, and uh, I've uh, decorated this photo mat. And now I'm going to next my page here. I want to add a ribbon as a closure for these photo mats, for these flaps. So, at first I want to make hole. This one.
Okay, now I'm going to make some funny photo mat and I've prepared piece five by six and a half inches, two die cuts and I'm making and I'm drawing lines. Here is one inch, here is one inch, and here is two and a quarter inch. And so I'm going to cut this piece out. And where is my ruler? Okay, I prepared my piece and now I'm going to glue this die cut here and here okay now I'm going to glue this piece I will apply glue only here and then I will glue this second die cut here. Okay, I've prepared a, a small, small, small photo for my film strip. And I'm going to glue them. Okay, I've prepared all photo mats for this pocket. I really like this one. Three small photo mats, four photos, uh, three by four. And now I'm going to the next page. Okay, I've prepared this piece for the space it's uh, two by eight inch and for this space I've prepared three pieces it's a three and eight and seven eighths by six, three by six, two and three quarter by six. And now I want to make a closure for these two flaps. And I've cut these circles. And this one. And here I want to, and this paste I want to decorate using FMS. And take cut. Here. Okay.
I've made this photos for this pocket and here I'm going to put on these tickets. So, I've started to decorate these flaps, these flaps, and now I'm going to decorate this, this one flap. I've cut this paper piece for this area is um, four by six inches for this room i've prepared this piece which is two by four inches and and now i'm going to glue them And I've prepared photo mat for this belly band. And um, it is three by five inches. This photo mat is for two photos. This one. This one need to cut. Yeah, I'm going to glue them. Here and here, and um, also I've prepared this um, envelope. I have the graphic forty-five dice, and I'm using it for making this envelope. I want to glue this little plastic pocket inside. Yeah. And adding, and I'm going to add three photos, two in plastic pocket and one here. And I need to make clo a closure for this pocket, for this envelope.
And now I want to add a little dangle here. And I'm going to glue this paper strip here. So my first flap is ready and I'm going to decorate others. Okay, I have finished this page. There is a big photo, six by four. There is four medium photos. Your envelope and a photo mat. There are three photos in this small envelope. Funny dangle. Okay. Photo six by four. A little slide with small photo. Three photo mats. And on the dangle. Here, photo mat and um, a little folder. This uh, file folder I've cut using my graphic 45 dies, die. Six by four photo, photo mat, and this element. I'm using the. I'm using this. This die for make for make it and this and I've got uh, these two parts. Okay. And here is um, six by four photo and big photo six and a half by six inches. Oh, I love this photo. Okay.
and uh, I've finished this page. So, in this pocket I have this automat and in this big pocket I have this film strip and this photomat. And here I placed a big photo. I've cut this photo on two parts and glued one part here and another part here. Okay, and now I'm going to work with this, our last page. I took 12 by 12 scrapbook paper sheet and um, I'm going to cut 8 by 12, 8 by 12 piece. And, and then I'm making score line on 12 inch side at 6 inch from the edge here. Yeah. Then I'm making the mark at um, two inch and a half from the bottom and um, I'm going to cut this part off. I'm going to glue this flap as a pocket and I'm going to apply the glue on this side and on this side only. Now I'm grab this piece and cut six inches. And I'm gluing. And this pocket only on three sides. Yeah.
I finished it last page in my photo folder. So here is photo mat for for photos. There is a photo mat for whole photos too. And envelope with two photos. Now I want to decorate my cover. So I've got paper piece. Uh, it is um, eight by six inches. Two paper strips for the top and for the bottom. Chipboard elements and um, paper letters. How also it's um, the name of um, the name of Kaosok um, is the name of the national park where we spend it our holidays. So this is my cover. My photo folio is ready and uh, now I'm going to show you my final result.
hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you soon and bye-bye.